Derelict Watcher. Oh, yeah, and here we are. My last cast of the night. Let's go ahead and make some noise up in the top right side. Give it up for EG Alive. And down or yonder in the bottom left from Team Evil Geniuses. He claims this is his strongest matchup. This is his final opportunity to show it. It is none other than Oz. All right, Derelict Watcher, a very interesting map. Lots of wide open spaces. Sean, do you think that favors Protoss or Terran here? It depends on the, uh, the Protoss composition. We do tend to see a lot of blink play to hop up into the main base. Speed Zealots are insanely good, but honestly, I find it to be quite a difficult map for Protoss because these Watchtowers strongly favor Terran. You just can't hold them safely and consistently as Protoss. I mean, if you put in a unit there, then they just drop on it and then just keep on dropping you. So it's very difficult to get much coverage unless you build like 50 Observers. But 50 Observers is too many, Mike. That's a few too many, Sean. I think uh, 45 should do the trick. But either way, oh, almost had Engineering Bay blocked there at the natural. Looks like Alive decides not to go ahead and do that. Cybercore going to be on the way. And is the SCV going to go back down there and start blocking? It very well could. Yep, uh -oh. it looks like he's going to go ahead and drop that Engineering oh, Bay right there. Oh, that's so good. Alive goes into Oz's base, and what does he see? No Zealot building, so perfect. He can easily throw down this Engineering Bay, and there's almost nothing that Oz can do about it. Now keep in mind that this SCV is probably not going to be finishing this building. Even if he could, he wouldn't want to because he wants to cancel it right before it dies. And did get about half of its HP right there. The probe's mm -hmm. going to be working it down. Stalker's on the way. As you mentioned, though, it's going to take a while for that Stalker to go ahead and DPS that down. So definitely going to be delaying oh. it. Hmm. Sean, you're thinking yes. over there. What are you thinking I'm doing about? A, I'm doing a considerable strength of musing right now. Alive going for double refinery. After having opened up one barracks expand, this is this is extremely rare. I mean, in the now it makes sense. He didn't see a zealot, so there's not a lot of early attacks that can go down. He didn't see a. Uh, actually, did he even get deep into the main base? We'll have to take an investigation. Uh, no, didn't even get deep enough to see if there was double gas. So uh, he's going to have to rely heavily on factory tech for his protection. I mean, even if he does want to go for a mine drop, he's going to have to rely on tanks. He'll keep a lot of mines back if he wants to not die to any Oz aggression, which tends to be blink. Bunker going right down, uh, down right now to go ahead and defend that location. I think there's just one lonely Marine to go in there. There's a second one. So going to be difficult to crack that right from the start. There's going to be the Mothership Core. No surprise here. Such a good defensive and offensive unit. Sometimes you see players even try to kill a worker or two early on with that. We do have the Stalker kind of scouting around the map. Any idea what this is for? Is it to look for Starport? I guess it's one of these tower. moves that just can't be bad right now. I mean, with, with everything Oz knows, he sees this wall off at the front, has the Mothership Core back home. There's no possibility for any sort of dropping to happen right now. Wow, that is a fast, fast forge, in fact, before the Robo. Yeah, there's really no attack that can come right now at all, so you can easily move out with these Stalkers, and maybe he picks up something. Almost always he won't, but it's just a nice, smart play. I also like how Alive right now actually has a 100% vision of his base. Uh, I think he just dropped down a little bit, but just to make sure there's no proxy pylons established. Nothing more annoying than losing to a proxy pylon that's been in your base for several minutes. But yep. uh, the bunker has enough Marines now to be fully loaded if it wants to be. Stalker's continuing to move out around and uh, see if they can intercept any scouting SCVs, anything like that. Looks like the expansion up for Oz now. There's that Robo, as we were mentioning, and uh, just continuing forward. Any, any predictions on what Oz is doing? Well, Oz is doing kind of a clever play almost always. When you do go for a fast forge, you're going to be going for some sort of Twilight Council tech. But instead, a Robo Bay pops down at the back side. Now, given this gas timing, this would indicate that, yeah, it still is going to be Twilight Council tech. But uh, it's Twilight Council tech with a, a Robo support. So this is a very nice, opportune spot to go for something a little bit kooky like... Uh, um, warp Prism Harass with Immortals for defense, but Alive, my god, talk about tricky play, I mean, I'm trying to even figure out a way to describe this composition, it's like a really fast medevac into no push with bio, but factory push into abandoning factory tech. That's a perfect way to describe it, Sean, as we do have the Mothership Core right now, gonna be scouting around, he's trying to see, can I spot a medevac, can I spot anything, gonna be a little bit late here, might try and use it to abuse the supply depot it looks like, but is he actually gonna have enough back at home? to defend the drop that's going to be headed his way. That is going to be two Hellions and two Mines. Marshall Core going to be harassing. I think he could actually kill that depot if he really wanted to. But at the same time, he's going to need the units back at home. He's not quite sure what's headed his way. I believe the Observer is going to float in there, see what's going on. He did see the Starport at one point. So he's definitely got to know that drops are an imminent possibility. But does he have enough back at home to prevent them from doing any damage? Very 
very cool build coming out of Oz, going for Blink with this Forge. So this will allow him to get plus two as well to be able to do Blink Harass right before his Colossus pops out. But the now is the big danger. Where is that Mothership Court? Still nowhere even remotely close. Oh, no, the Hellions stop, spark right into the main base. And keep in mind, those probes. the Widow Mines are still inside the Medivac. Gotta unload them right on top of the probe. No. And is he gonna get any big hits? Doesn't look like huge hits. Actually, that shot oh. was not bad. The Stalker <laughs> and the probes there. The Hero oh. Widow Mine raking in the kills already with six kills on that one Widow Mine. And the Hellions, uh, one of them escapes and does force a photon overcharge. So it looks like this drop ended up being worth it. Nice solid little drop. See observers beginning to close in on the position at the front. Got out everything that's up here. They see the extra factory en route. Another little drop ship coming in, but I think that this is about to be a big swing back into Oz's favor. Is there's not a lot of bio out. A big warp in of uh, Blink Stalkers is going to be extremely difficult to deal with. Probe does spot one of those medevacs. We'll see if Oz is realizing it. And there's another drop moving down to the south. Keep in mind the one from the south is uh, two Hellions. The one up to the north is three Hellions. So no Widow Mine's going to be an imminent threat. Just needs to make sure to get his units into a good position. At the same time, though, Oz is going to be going for third base. Here comes the drop right now at the natural. That's going to be the one that lands first. The one at the main base is going to get spotted by yet another uh -oh, observer. Uh -oh. And the Photon Orchard actually takes down the medevac with some good force fields here. These Hellions are going nowhere. And that gets cleaned up relatively easily. But the Ooh. attack is not over just yet. Here comes drop number two. And these probes, as long as they don't line up, shouldn't be too much damage. Oh my god, they are lining... Okay, it's totally safe. They were lining up, but uh, Alive did not really get any good angles in there. This is a very weird opening, because I mean... Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, Here, he's gotta try no. get some big hits. Uh, and... Uh, how, uh, he's, he's gonna kill zero additionals. I feel like one of those shots just decided not to do damage. Those probes, uh, very well protected there. I, I would say overall that's a pretty good drop, uh, like, defense. Yeah, you know, it's weird because I would say it's a good drop defense, and yet here we have uh, Alive with a 20 supply lead has somehow completed most of the n needed infrastructure back home in the main base. I mean, the only thing that's really missing is the concussive shell, and that'll be done in a second. Plus one's also very close to completion. I mean, Oz is sort of bafflingly behind in this point, but the big nice position that we do see Oz pick up is his third base. With all this tech-focused aggression, the bio follow-up can't be that big, can't happen that quickly. This is a very safe move by Oz. Yeah, the first drop here at that Widow Mine, getting some big hits, seemingly putting him behind. At the same time, though, Colossus is trapped back here. He's got to be careful, but the time warp right there going to be oh. slowing those units down. They're trying to focus down the Colossus, which sometimes is a good idea. Don't know if it was a good idea there, though. Uh-oh, 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 and then the blink and the blink is totally not thrown down at any point. And there's one little zealot over on the right side. Could not prevent it from landing, but will prevent any workers from being there anytime soon. Looks like Marauders, though, in the middle. Keep in mind, these stalkers do have blinks, yeah, so they yeah. should be able to, even with the concussive shells, Vikings starting to come out right now. But Psy Storm on the way, which uh, could prove to be quite devastating, considering that there are already High Templars starting to gain that energy. A lot of barracks going down in the main base for Alive. Again, you know, a lot of... Uh, North American European players, you'll see throw down those additional barracks, the barracks beyond five. They'll throw them down like 15, 16 minutes way late in the game. These top Korean players getting them so early, and of course, coupled with those barracks upgrades, I mean, it, it, it turns into exactly what we saw in Polt Oz, where Polt just rolls over with huge Marauder numbers. That plus one is done, plus one armor on the way here for Alive. We do have the plus one attack going to be coming on up. For Oz here. He already has that two armor, which is nice for Zealots. We don't see a ton of Zealots on the field just yet. Currently sitting at six. Just the one Colossus here. I love the non-overcommittal to uh, two Colossus there. So if the Viking count gets out of hand, well, it's not that big of a deal. The Psy Storm, always a very potent spell to use. Even if there's ghosts out, you can still land some pretty good storms. And uh, the thing I like about this map as Protoss is defending these three bases is relatively easy. Yeah. Uh, because you can kind of keep your army in an area that can defend the second and the third bases and then just leave a High Templar or two back at home in the main base. But both players are going to be going for three here. And Alive, though, still has that substantial supply lead right now. This is pretty typical at this phase of the game to be behind in supply as Protoss. It looks like Oz is preparing to do a nice little push. Still, most of the High Templar will be chilling back in a defensive posture around the expansion, of course, Mothership Core up at the third. But look at this Observer placement for Oz. Oz is slowly inching his way forward with Observers as he begins to be more safe at home. 
four observers out on the field. Very, very high amount. Yeah, I really like where they're positioned as well. One's near the army to spot for potential cloak ghosts. The other ones are spotting for drops and seeing when the move out is happening. So the map vision alone could be enough. He'll uh, he'll know when it's safe to move out, when he has to retreat. Looks like the uh, the factory here, the scouting factory, going to get spotted. Might ooh, catch a meta back there. Nope, it's going to go ahead and boost out of there. Has to be careful this army here, though, in the center. That is not uh -oh, enough to uh -oh. engage that directly. Storm comes up to try and protect him. The split's coming out already, though. Some nice storms on those force field units. Continuing Jeez. with the storms. Is it going to be enough damage, though? Those marauders are seemingly not dying, but uh, it does look like Oz at least able to retreat safely, but has still lost about 600 to 700 more resources than, uh, than alive so far. Yeah, I mean, if you look, there's just not a lot of Marines in that force. I mean, there's not a lot of Marines here in general. Most of them are still sort of chilling back at home in these bunkers and whatnot, but I mean, the number of Marauders is just easily able to tank those enormous storms. I mean, this is just a great, great continued aggression by alive, and we haven't really seen Oz do much in the attacking front. I will say he does have decent upgrades to attack. Three armor are going to be on the way here. So if he can buy time to get those out, that's going to be one of the advantages he has. Currently, the supply is still down by about 50. But, of course, Storm oh. can even that out. Nice blink forward. Gets a, a two Vikings. Another Storm there to kind of scare the army. And this is where uh, Oz just wants a couple more minutes here, if possible. There is an army up in the top left side. Also a drop as well. So we could be seeing multi-prong attacks, uh, or they could just be regrouping here. Keep in mind, there's really no wow. easy way to run into that third base. Look at this great map coverage by Oz. I mean, it might look like nothing's going on right now, but that is what Oz has been working very hard to obtain. Just complete and total control over this map. Alive is positioning himself, but Oz gets the feedback. And that nice. is an incredibly good feeling as Protoss. Absolutely. Also, uh places his army in the midfield. He's going to get near maxed out here in the next couple moments. He has a lot of money to burn as well. Could be uh, Archons, more Colossus, uh -oh. decides to go for High Templar. Oh! oh! But five High Templar get EMP'd. They get taken out immediately. And all of a sudden, that army not looking so terrifying anymore. Are oh there my any god. High left? I... Only three left. He's going to engage with these Zealots, and the upgrades are great, but imagine Storms on top of this. I don't think it's going to be enough here, Sean. I mean, it's all about the upgrades right now for Oz. He's trying to Crush through with zealots, but no. Mass bio ruins his day again. I mean, marauders are able to just absorb so much damage, able to deal so much damage. A single colossus is going to evaporate in a matter of seconds. More units try to morph in, but alive has just snapped the front. Yeah, I mean, it all comes down to intercepting those high templar. With the amount of zealots that were out, they needed that high templar. Uh, storm to back them up. It's not going to happen. Natural goes down. Looks like there's a couple Vikings moving over to that third base. Could potentially land there. And he's got to load up and get out of here. I mean, the game isn't over just yet, but it's 92 supply uh, to 158. And wow. again, with just no storms, it, he needed the storms. <laughs> that was his one strength. Oh, this is so unfair. Landing Vikings. They're not even supposed to be on the ground. Looks like this Colossus is buying a little bit of time. Uh, Oz is starting to get some semblance of stability, but, I mean, the number of Templar on the field, what, two? Not enough. He needs so many. These two Vikings, gosh, nine kills among the two of them. Oz has snatched up a Southern Expansion, which could maybe have the beginning inklings of a comeback, but with these ghosts coming in, I don't know, Husky. Yeah, I don't know GG. either, and GG.